this is very much interconnected uh, to to this field of neuromodulation because actually the I was the uh, the co-founder of, of this Nelly system here, and actually the reason is that was that we we had these new techniques, vagal nerve stimulation, new drugs, and deep brain stimulation, but then I, I realized that our kind of seizure detection system is so unreliable that that it's like we if you don't know what is happening to the patients and we all we, we have more and more information how imprecise the seizure diaries are and if we have a very poor understanding of the of the patient's real seizures then how can we how can we measure how can we optimize these treatments and of course like from this is like something that is common to all forms of intervention that if you don't know the baseline then, then, like, how, how do you know what is happening here? And and for that reason, um, actually, I was we, we we started this this company, Neuron Labs, and 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 trying to to solve these problems. And now we have been able to develop the system, and that helps us to monitor the the seizures here. And and now actually, we, we published three paper papers this year. Uh, one uh, together with Sander Benitsky from the Danish Epilepsy Center, kind of showing these. Uh, validity of the these uh, these uh, nearly hybrid system uh, with, together uh, like in, in comparison with the with the standard VDG and that kind of shows that okay we can classify the seizures in a reliable way and then we have this one paper looking at the clinical utility based on the Finnish experience from different hospitals because we have been having this system like for the uh, everyday clinical practice for a couple of years now and there we were able to show that actually it helps us to to define the uh, the need for the t treatment and also helps us to to then uh, to evaluate the treatment effects there and then we have actually the third paper that is also like was published uh, this year in in epilepsy research looking at and and, and like in, in 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 connection with an intervention there we had the, this patient group that has had very refractory epilepsy and then we had a nocturnal seizures and then we kind of we 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 did the baseline registration and showed that actually in some patients that that we are not able to register any seizure for the seizure diaries they might have like up to 200 seizures uh, per per day and and again like what we have show, shown again over and over in in previous studies in like not us but but what has been shown in previous studies that that there is this huge degree of of, of uncertainty about the what is really happening there and now we can we have we need this objective and quantifiable system that helps helps us to to evaluate the the effects of the treatment and that when, when we know that now we have we really make a difference in terms of seizure accounts and also not not just like the total number of seizures but with the F, like with reference to to different seizure types so actually that's like um, in a, in a nutshell the the um, the need for these these uh, these uh, audio video based systems and also like now we have been able to make progress in terms of the the kind of the the technical and and these algorithmic aspects that that how we can we can um, detect and classify these seizures and also we can we have shown the the uh, the validity with reference to the video G and and the clinical utility in everyday clinical practice and again as a tool uh, to help us to evaluate the effect of the intervention and the need for intervention.